Hi there, everyone. So today I'm joined with my friend Lucy. Hiya. Now, the general election is coming up, which if you're not in the UK, you're probably like, I don't know what that is. Or if you're me, you don't really know what that is, because I don't know anything about British politics, and that's why I brought my friend Lucy here. I work at a non-profit that encourages the youth to vote, so I know a lot about the general election on the 7th of May. Evan knows nothing. So today we're going to educate him and test his knowledge. Don't stop, gotta go vote. Start by making Evan draw a spectrum of the political parties. Okay. I've got this whiteboard here. Hashtag draw my life. Left to right spectrum. Same as in America, same as in every single NAMI. Uh. <laughs> left and right. Here we have my beautiful spectrum of left and right. I learned this in kindergarten, so definitely not politics yet. Right. Right there. I don't even know if you know what the party names are. I know a couple. I've sat long and I've labored a long time to come up so I could agree with you. <laughs> I've, right. I've applied my knowledge liberally, uh, not conservatively. Have I named them all yet? You've done really well. Right, can you put the Labour Party on? Labour sounds like poor people because the working party is laborious. So I'm going to put them right here. Labour. Not bad. Now, do you want to put the conservatives on there? It's it's the opposite, because conservatives are very right in America. Conservatives. <laughs> We're doing pretty well so far. Okay. Okay, where do you think you get far? <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> now, where do you think the liberal Democrats are? I'm going to put them right around here. Quite good. Really? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm quite impressed. Okay All right, and now Greens. Right in the middle. Not no. really. <laughs> no. Dang it. Right. Oh. Next challenge. Oh, great. Is to tell me what you think about each party. What have you heard okay. from the internet? So, mostly all the knowledge I know about different political parties in the UK are from Twitter trends, such as everyone hates David Cameron. <laughs> Um, everyone hates Nigel Farage. Uh, everyone really, because he's the UKIPper. Yeah. And as an American that's an immigrant, he hates me and wants me out of his country, so I don't like UKIP. We're gonna all. start with the conservatives. Conservatives. I've heard so little about them. They have very old values, such as racism and <laughs> the Queen. Conservatives are the people in power at the moment. Okay. David Cameron's their guy. He yeah. can't camera run the country very well. One could say <laughs> they like the Queen. You're right. About okay. That. But they're not that racist. They're not that racist. No. Oh. They're like quite. They're middle. conservative. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're economically conservative. They're like different colours. <laughs> okay. Socially quite liberal. Like they've endorsed gay marriage. Oh, good. But that's like every party does that, other than UKIP in Britain. Tell me what you know about UKIP. UKIP are racist and homophobic and they try to get the most voters in very uneducated areas of England. UKIP doesn't like immigrants. They're basically Republicans in America, right? I would agree. Yeah, the best comparison for them is probably Republicans in America. I don't know if they use scare tactics, but yeah, yeah. they use a lot of like terrorists or Romanians. You guys seem yeah. really scared of Romanians. <laughs> Green Party, what have you heard? Green Party, I would hope, would care about the environment and they're going to work on sustainable energy. Students, I think, are important to the Green Party and maybe they make the like tuition go down. But I don't know anything about the Green Party besides that. You're pretty accurate. They really care about the Green. The Green that surrounds us. There's a good name for them then. Yeah, it's really good. The Green Party is kind of socialist. Oh, that's, yeah, a bit ambitious. Labour? Well, I do know that everyone wants to have sex with that Millbit. <laughs> so... <laughs> Are you part of the Miller fandom? Miller fandom. I don't know why that that's happened, but everyone wants to bang Ed Miliband. Have you seen him? Uh, yeah, I saw the Nikki and Sammy videos. Labour is like getting rid of immigrants, hoping to Wait, like Labour wants to get rid of... Oh. They want to crack down on immigrants. Nope. Labour's just lost a vote. Bye. I think that as long as immigrants are providing a very big value to the country, you should let them in, obviously. Don't just let in anyone, but I try so hard to stay here, man. <laughs> Final one, the Lib Dems. Do you know anything about them? Oh, Nick Clegg. So what do you actually think about Nick Clegg? Have you heard anything about him? I just imagine he's a fat white guy. One of them hates NHS. The conservatives, conservatives. at the moment are privatizing David NHS. Cameron. What a dick. I appreciate <laughs> NHS. I come from America where I have to spend $80 to visit the doctor. So the fact that I can just go if I'm sick for free is amazing. I don't want to lose that. I'll pay taxes for that. Britain's ruined you. What happens <laughs> to your like economically conservative? So a lot of young people really don't like Nick Clegg. 
Why do you think that is? Because he's old and unrelatable. Doesn't post enough memes. Why would you hate Nick Legg? Oh, schools! He's the one that's ruining our school system and wants to spend more money on tuition, right? He wants to have everyone spend more money on tuition. You got it! Yeah! He raised Screw our university fees from £3,000 to, to £9,000. He promised that he would keep university tuition fees to £3,000, campaigned on it, went around universities, all of the young people voted for him. And it was one of the big things he compromised on when he got in a government. So he lied. Oh, Nick Clegg doesn't have a Clegg to stand on. Because yes. he lied. <laughs> I do feel like education should be cheaper since I come from America where it's really expensive and I wish I wasn't burdened with a huge amount of debt. Yeah. So I would want to vote for a party that kind of helps support students. You're doing really well. I assumed it would be like... A joke. Admit, yeah. <laughs> like, what do you know about the SNP? Socialist Nationalist Party? No, good guess. Who wants nationalism? People that want war. So, southerners. <laughs> southerners. They want a war with France. They will take her back, I'll say sorry. Scotland. Scotland. Oh, the Scottish National Party. They want to remove themselves from the great UK. I, why do they want to do that? I feel like British taxes mostly help support England, and it doesn't really help out the country that nobody knows about called Wales or Scotland. Who is promising to lower tuition fees to 6,000 a year? I'm assuming Labour. Very good. Yeah, I'm little bands. Who wants to propose that we can smoke in pubs again? Old people. Conservatives? No. Or UKIP? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's UKIP. Yeah. The far right. <laughs> of course it's far right. Why would you want to smoke in a pub? I don't want to breathe in that. It was like a big thing. It was like... You used to be able to smoke on planes. I can't imagine that. Oh, yeah. that'd be horrific. Who's the ah. one that made the prices of Freddo's go up? I've heard about this. That is... The economy. <laughs> <laughs> I worked at a clothing retailer like two years ago and it was six twenty-five an hour I got paid. That's shocking for London. Yeah. I got paid that. I was it was an American London. company, so the America. Only retailer that has that the living wage it's called is Lush. Oh, okay, I understand. Lush looks it's after It's a Lush that. lifestyle. You know it wouldn't be Primark. <laughs> yeah. I was true. like I was hoping you said Primark to be like, well, I would want to get paid that much to work in a place like that. Who should I vote for? Leave it in the comments down below. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who should I vote for based on my things? I actually still don't know. Uh, I think I've learned a lot, and it turns out I'm not as ignorant as I thought I was. So that's nice it's to know. pretty good. If you're voting on May 7th, but you still don't know quite who you're going to vote for, if you go to verto.vote, you can do a 10 minute little like survey thing. It's like Tinder for politics, and work out who best aligns with your views. And this isn't even hashtag spawn. No, I'm just telling you <laughs> because Everyone should vote for who they want to vote for. Don't be pressured by your parents or your friends. Follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter, make sure you subscribe <laughs> to my snaps and chat. Snaps and chat? <laughs> snaps and chat? But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did like it, please give it a big like below. Also, check Lucy's face. She's got videos, pretty artsy over there, so be sure to subscribe to her. Thank you so much for watching, though. I will see you guys next Sunday. Goodbye. Bye. Ray Roberts. Ray Roberts, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. And then hopefully I can have like some cool intro screen where it's like with a British song in the background, whatever that is. The British. S Club 7. <laughs> 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 Don't stop, gotta go vote. Oh, no. Miliband isn't into the drugs. He doesn't think the country is edited in that direction. If you're still looking, wait. He wants drugs, Miliband. From the... <laughs> Just keep coming up with really bad ones.